What's up guys, I'm Cheyenne, that tall book girl. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have some of my favorite things I have been loving lately. I don't wanna go, cause your love is what I want, babe. This is a new video for me and something I've never done before, but I felt like we should just change it up a little bit. I feel like I'm finally getting a little of inspiration as far as content goes. And I really wanted to share with you guys something not bookish, but more so like, I don't know, just things I've been loving, things that have been catching my attention, things that maybe I've been buying that I feel like are worth sharing. Um, and I'm not making money off of any of this, just so you know, I don't have anything linked or whatever, but most of the stuff you can either find on Amazon or like buy at Target or Walmart or Sephora and things like that. So I have um, quite a bit of like beauty things, some health things, and then just like random stuff that I'm really loving as well. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I, I feel like a lot of this stuff too is things that like I'm starting to use on a daily basis and things that like I've discovered recently that I just really wanna like gush and share about. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so one of my favorite things that I just recently found, and I don't know if you guys are like familiar with beauty products. If you're not, you can skip past these. I'm probably gonna do all of the beauty ones at the beginning. Um, there is this eyeshadow that it's like a liquid eyeshadow that you put on your eyes. You basically just get like an eyeshadow brush and blend it in by Dior. Now Dior is just so freaking expensive, but their products are so good. And I just could not justify spending $38 for like a little thing of eyeshadow like that. That first off, I feel like I would wear it every day, but I don't wear makeup every day, but it is an everyday color and type of look. Now, this was not intentional at all, but I ended up finding like a really good dupe that's $15 instead of $38. And for someone who, <laughs> I, I have zero expertise on eyeshadow, zero expertise on eyeshadow. Like when I'm with McKay, she has to do my eyeshadow for me because I have no idea how to do it. Most of the time I just like throw bronzer over it and it doesn't last all day. So you can't even tell that I ever had it on because I have like really oily eyelids until, until I found this product by About Face. Now I believe this is, what is her name? Halsey? This is, this is Halsey's line. And she basically created these that are the same thing as the Dior and their eyeshadow sticks like this, comes out like that. Like this one is my favorite color. It's actually the one that I have on my eyes right now. Um, what color is this? Capulets. This is color Capulets. I feel like it's a very neutral brown. I have green eyes, so I tend to gravitate towards more to like browns and golds colors. I don't wear like gray or like smoky eye because I feel like it like washes me out a lot. And then I also have this color, which this is cloned. And this one is a lot darker. So like one of the things I feel like with my hazel eyes, if I do like a dark line underneath my eye right here, like not on my waterline, but a little bit right under, I kind of like lightly dab that on a brush and like do it like halfway down my eye. I feel like it just makes my eyes pop a little bit more. And I'm telling you right now, this stuff does not move it stays on all day which is hard to find especially like i said i have oily eyelids and then i also got this purple color and this is the shade freaked um it's kind of like a muted lilac but purple is also a really good color with green eyes so sometimes i will take the purple and i'll like put it in replace to like where i would put the dark brown and it really just like makes my eyes pop especially like during the summertime and stuff like that i feel like it's gonna look really pretty um but again i am loving these and these are like the matte ones i know that they do have glitter ones as well and i really want to try those for like night outs to like put in the corner of my eyes and kind of like blend outward into it but it's very low maintenance and something so easy especially for someone who doesn't know how to do eyeshadow at all and lasts all day so i don't have to fix it up all right, and then another product, which this one I found like about a month or so ago, and I am constantly using it to the point where Max is like, all I smell is that stuff. This is not a perfume, but it's a hair, it's a honey infused hair perfume. You can get this from Sephora. I want to say this is like maybe $28, something like that. Um, I don't even know how to say, say the name. Gaiso, Gaiso or something, I don't, whatever. It's a hair perfume. Now, this is more, it's a little more floral, which I don't love. I don't like floral normally is what I'm saying, but this smell is addicting. It's like sweet, almost like a nectar, honey, like citrusy kind of floral. So the floral is not very strong, but you can kind of smell it like in the base layer of it. But literally all I do is I just take my hair like that and give a few spritzes. Even when we were in Charleston for Sweetgrass, I remember telling um, I remember telling Sam, like, I can't even smell my perfume anymore. 
I don't even remember which one I was wearing at that time. And she's like, oh, I was like, smell me. And all she smelled was my hair. That's fine for me. I love this smell. And when I tell you it lasts all day, it lasts all day. You will continue to smell yourself in sweat, walking outside, in the cold weather, whatever you name it. Um, your hair is going to smell so good. They also do have like a new rose one that they just came out with. I liked the original one more, but I did think the rose one smelled really pretty too. If you like more of a flower scent, but I liked the honey and more like sweet nectar kind of smell. And why we're on perfumes as well. I'm going to go ahead and share this one. I'm really, I really do try to find like dupes of expensive stuff. I can be very bougie when it comes to beauty products, especially perfumes. They really are like my favorite thing to buy. There's something about someone that smells good. That's just like really important. And I always want to be that person. Um, the way I layer my perfume y'all is just, you're gonna think I'm crazy, which maybe I should share. Maybe I should share this other one as well. So the way I do perfume and the way I do like my body scents is in the shower, I do a bar of soap when I, I wash with a bar of soap. And then after I wash with a bar of soap, cause that kind of like gets all the bacteria and stuff off your body. And then I do a body wash because a body wash is really what like double cleanses it and then gets that smell and that softening. But a body wash by itself does not get the yuck and the bacteria off. You have to use bar soap for that antibacterial. I like Dove, like the awakening one is my favorite. Um, those two, I do that. And I, I love the, um, the Aveeno, like the stress relief one. That's my, one of my favorite body washes. So I typically use those two. And then when I get out, I dry myself off and then I use I guess we're going in order now. I use a body oil. Body oil really does brighten your skin and gives you like a sun-kissed glow. And so I like this one by Osea. It's just like their normal body oil. I always buy the travel size because it lasts me so long. I don't need that much. I typically only like will put the body oil on my chest and like my arms. And then if I'm wearing shorts or something like that or a dress, I'll put it on my legs as well. But you really only need like a pump or two. So I put this on and it just makes your skin look really plump and hydrated. Um, but has a glow as well. And then after that, then I do my lotion. I like the Esos Cashmere Vanilla. If I had that, I would show you it's in my bathroom, but I like that one. I'll try to put a picture of it up here. And then when I'm doing like, when I feel like my skin needs to be like extra hydrated, I'll do the Nivea Skin Firming because it hydrates and it makes my skin like tighten and feel firmer. So I don't, <laughs> which like everybody has cellulite. I don't care how skinny or how thick you are but everybody has cellulite, but it just makes me feel more like, eh? like more tightened in. I don't know. Maybe that's just me and my brain because of the name of it, but I really love that one. And I like the smell of it too. It's a lot more neutral. Um, so I'll put this on, do my lotion and then all the spots where I would normally put my perfume, which I would typically put it like in my points right here on the back of my neck, my chest, and then my wrist. Um, I will do this oil, which I actually got it from Target. But I was really surprised. I was looking for a perfume oil for a long time, did not know where to find one or which one to get. I just knew I didn't want to spend a lot, especially if it was going to like go quickly, but actually like the longevity of it is a lot better than I thought. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is the lavender cloud one. It's the rest and unwind opens like this. It's by being Frenchy something like that. It's at target. I think it's like 1499. It comes in like a little roller bottle like this. And I just take it and I put it on my little pulse points. I put it in the back of my neck and then I put it right here and I dab my hands like this. Then while that's still wet, I'll take my perfume and I'll spray my perfume on those oil marks. I'm telling you it lasts all day, especially with the lotion and the soap. If you do it in that kind of process, you will smell your perfume for a long time. Now it can depend on what kind of perfume you use. Some of it might last half the day or whatever, but typically even like for my cheap stuff, I can smell my perfume all day long. Part of perfume, I'm going to share one of my favorites. That's more like the affordable line. This one's from Target as well. And it's a new line that just dropped. I either will wear Target perfumes like during the day or like my Sol de Janeiro, or I'll wear like my bougie stuff, which I have a lot of the bougie stuff, but I've been trying to not buy bougie stuff because I have an addiction to perfume. Like I said, I just want to smell good, but I can't justify spending $190 all the time when I smell a new perfume that I like. So I'm going to share this one because who doesn't like affordable things? Um, the finery line at Target, this line is amazing. Do not get the body mist. The body mist will not last. You have to pay a little bit more for the perfume. I believe this is like $30, 
but the it's a big bottle it's a big bottle now this is my favorite scent the jungle santal now i feel like that can be debatable because some people when they smell it they smell pickles which is a little strange to me um and the first time i smelt it i didn't know that people were smelling it as pickles until i went and looked at the review but i had already smelt it and knew that i loved it so now i'm kind of like oh it just smells so good it smells like woodsy and like bamboo almost like that um I feel like Bath and Body Works used to have a bamboo scent, but almost like sweet at the same time. It's like a really good mix of feminine, but also a little masculine at the same time. If, if I'm wanting something that's a little more neutral and that doesn't feel super like sweet and like candy, which I do like smells like that. Um, this is just a really good alternative and these last all day. When you get the perfume, they last all day and it mixes really well with the perfume oils. I feel like the smell combined, like maybe with just with like my body chemistry, I really like the way it smells. And like they're both in Target so you can just pop a little on your wrist of the oil and then go spray yourself and walk around the store a little bit and see how you like it. Um, the other one that I really like as well for this is the... What is it the is it pistachio or something like that it's like a sea foam color that one that one's more like sweet ice cream kind of scent but it's very subtle so it's not like overpowering and strong and then it, when it mixes with your body chemistry it just smells so like warm and cozy kind of has a little bit of a vanilla hue too as well and then i also really like the madame one which i'm like of course I like my mom. Um, that one smells really good. If you like the YSL, like Mon Paris, the Mon Paris one, that one smells very similar to that to me. And it kind of resembles like the hot pink Sol de Janeiro in a little bit of ways to me. I just think that one's like very sweet and flirty and has a good like little edge to it as well. So that's the Madame one. I really like that one, especially like during the summertime and the spring, I feel like that one's gonna smell really good. But this is my favorite go-to. That's just like a very neutral and I feel like it would smell good on anybody. I'm gonna try to keep this as short as I can. Um, I'm just a talker. So moving on to another beauty product that I really love is this One Size by Patrick Star. This is one of my favorite beauty lines now and I feel like it just blew up like last year. I have used their setting powder before and I really like it, but it doesn't compare to like my favorite. Um, but as far as setting spray goes, what is that on that? But as far as setting spray goes, this one is my all time, oh, what is that? Like mascara or something. This one is my favorite. I'm telling you, your makeup will not move. <laughs> you can sweat and you can wipe the sweat off all you want, but your makeup will not move. It really does feel like hairspray on your skin. And I feel like if you do have oily skin, this kind of mattifies it a little bit. So if you're looking for that, I would definitely do it. But I tend to have more like dry skin unless I'm like super plump and hydrated from like skincare, then it eventually dries down a lot. Um, I can still use this and it still works fine for my skin. So I still love it. It works great. I'm telling you, your makeup will not move. And it's very like aerosol-y, looks like a bottle of hairspray. Um, I tend to, when I use setting spray, I like set all of my cream products and then I set all of my um, powder products in that order and that works for me. All right, and then talking about setting powder, my favorite is the Huda Beauty. I know if you guys are like big into beauty stuff, this is one of those things that I feel like is worth spending the money on. Um, I think it's like $40, but you get so much product in it. I've had this for like two months now and I've barely even scratched the surface. Um, I get the I get the shade Cherry Blossom and it's a little more pink hue so it does a lot of like brightening under your eyes. I know that the Banana Bread one is better for if you have more like yellow undertones. I tend to have more pink undertones so I get the Cherry Blossom with the pink tint and the powder but I'm telling you right now, you put your concealer on, you get a little powder puff and you press into your under eyes and it will not move. Trust me, this is the best. I feel like it just like fills pores so easily and truly um, is worth the hype that it gets. Now I have one more thing that's a little bit like more pricey, but I feel like it just lasts a long time. And sometimes beauty is pain as far as finances and some things are truly worth spending the money on. And then others, like I feel like you can find a dupe and it works just as well. Um, Fenty Heat Gloss is one of those ones that I've been using for a long time. I know like a couple of you guys have asked me like last year on my channel what I use for gloss and it's Fenty Heat Gloss. If I'm not using Laneige, I'm using Heat Gloss. And this is like a lip plumping, so it will make your lips tingly if you don't like that. I love this brown color. This is the shade Hot Chocolate. I was very scared at first buying a brown lip gloss because I like my lips to look a little more neutral. Or like during the summertime, I like pink, and I also have a red one as well that I love when I'm wearing like more pink tones. 
but like today I have the brown one on and I'll just show you. It doesn't look super brown. It looks like more neutral and tan and I feel like it really does complement any lip color that you wear. Um, but it just stays on so well and it's smooth. It's a little sticky. So if you don't like that, you might not love it, but, um, I don't know. I just love it. It plumps your lips up a little bit. Not that you're going to walk around looking like this, but I just think it complements really any skin tone and it just looks beautiful. No matter what color lipstick you're wearing. Like right now I'm literally just wearing lip liner just to line my lips a little bit and give them a little bit of shape. And then I just threw the gloss on top of it. All right, now moving on to, let's see, um, a mascara that I really love. So I've been trying to not color analysis myself. I know you've probably seen that all over TikTok, but really find like things that complement my skin tone, complement my eyes and doing color analysis to myself without actually paying to do color analysis. And I'm finding that I really love brown eyeliner. I know it's like a trend right now. So I was like, I'll just try it, but I'm gonna buy like a cheaper mascara just in case I don't like it because if I don't like it, typically I would go back to black and not really wear it, but I love it. And I love this mascara that I got. Essence is a really popular brand. I do know that I have always worn their like lash primer. I've never really done, um, what is it called? What is it called? The stuff that makes your eyelashes grow. Um, 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 I'm having a brain fart. You know what I'm talking about. And you're probably like saying it on the screen right now. Um, I've never really done that up until this past month, but I've always used a mascara primer and I love the essence one. Now pair that with this one, the lash without limits. This is amazing. And it is $5. $5 and this is the brown color, I believe. Yes. And it's the shape brown <laughs> 02 brown. I love this stuff. The way that the mascara wand is, is like this. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it just bends. I'll have to do it like this. Hopefully you can see that. It just bends so well and really like gets into all the crevices of your lashes, which for me, it's hard to do. I have a lot of lashes that have been missing that have like fallen out for a long time. It's, I mean, I'm getting like, they're filling out now as I'm doing more things to help with that. But after having kids, I lost like quite a bit. So it was difficult to make everything look full without like looking clumpy. And this mascara is so great for that. So I will continue to buy this one. I do love the brown. I have the brown on right now. Hopefully you can see that, but I feel like it just like really complements my green eyes. And I actually think it really looks pretty with blue eyes as well. Now I do think if you have brown eyes, I think black looks the best, but as far as like the quality of the mascara, it looks great and it comes in black as well. All right, now I do have a couple like skincare things as well. I'm gonna try to move fast through this. It's taking me a lot longer <laughs> than I thought it would. Um, so I got this as like a sample and a trial thing that I ordered with some, some stuff from Sephora. And I did not think I was gonna like it as much as I did. And I also like had never used a color correcting treatment. That's what it's called. Um, it has SPF 30 in it, which is great anyways, but for your under eyes, I am a mom of three boys. You guys know that. I feel like I have the worst bags. I do put like eye cream on and then eye cream on in the morning when I wake up. But when I do my makeup, that helps. That helps. It definitely helps brighten my eyes and reduce the puffiness. But I feel like there's still like some kind of discoloration under there. And the Sisapair Derma Green Solution, this is a tiger grass color correcting treatment. This stuff, I will continue to buy. I will continue to buy. I thought I got it as a sample, didn't think I would like it, put it under my eyes, and it's like you can't even see the dark spots. You put it on before you do your makeup. It works really well with concealer. Just let it dry fully. Um, it is amazing, and I will continue to buy this. All right, and then speaking of skincare stuff, one of the eye creams that I have been putting on in the morning, which I just started doing this this past month, is by Good Molecules. It's the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel, like this. It literally comes in a little thing like this. The consistency is like really thin. It's easy to work under your eyes. It doesn't leave like a thick residue that blends in with your makeup. It's very good. And I think it's like $5, 
$5. I am loving this Good Molecules brand for skincare. I'm definitely gonna be trying more stuff by them because skincare can get really expensive and skincare is really important. It makes a big difference in not only how your makeup looks, but how your skin looks and then when you're aging and stuff like that. But I am a firm believer that you don't need a ton of skincare products to have good skin and to have like skin that looks ageless as you get older. I think it's just like finding the right things that work for you. One of the things that is working for me lately is the Good Molecules Retinol. Now I was on Tretinoin last year and I ended up getting off of it. I was on it for about nine months and my skin was still peeling at the nine month mark and I was down to every other day. I wasn't even putting it on every day my skin should not be peeling at that point. And so that was my sign that I don't think this is working with me. Um, I was getting like little forehead bumps up here, which it's supposed to be smoothing out your skin tone. And it just wasn't doing that for me. And I think that tretinoin is not for everybody. I know that people will scream and talk about it forever. And it's like the only thing tretinoin and retinol are the only things that will save your skin, make you not have lines and wrinkles. Yes, I understand that for some people it will work, but it's not going to work for everybody. And that is okay. So I am not going to be using this retinol that destroys my skin, makes my skin burn, makes my skin peel and looks 10 times worse. And as soon as I got off of it, my skin healed up a lot. Now, this one I decided to try because I do want a little bit of retinol, especially like on my forehead and stuff like that. So I was like, if I try a more gentle one, maybe that one will work. Here comes Good Molecules with all of the good things. And this is a gentle retinol cream. Um, let's see how much it has. I don't even know what it says. It's specifically for sensitive and dry skin, if you have that, to take it three times a week. I'm only doing it two times a week and I'm already telling a difference. I have no peeling, no skin irritation, and like I said, my skin is very sensitive. It's acne prone, and even at 30, it's acne prone, and I do whatever I can to fight against that, but I do still want to do this if I can, and if I find that it doesn't work, then I'm just gonna stop and not use it anymore. But I'm finding that it works really well and my skin is actually liking it, which is a shocker and I'm gonna roll with it until it tells me something different. All right, couple more things. Um, also skincare, I love hyaluronic acid. I have been using hyaluronic acid for a long time. Truthfully, I don't even freaking know what it does to your skin. I just know that it hydrates it and at least that's what it feels like when it does to mine. Um, I also have this like almost like foundation stuff that has those little like pebbles in it that's full of hyaluronic acid. It's a very like light tone. I think it's by Maybelline or L'Oreal or something, which I don't really like drugstore foundation, but I really like it. It has hyaluronic acid in it and I love it. This one is my favorite, my favorite. I had one that I was using for so long. It lasted me forever and I could not even feel it in my skin. This is like a gel almost. It's by Vichy, Vichy Laboratories. It's the V Mineral 89 Booster Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster of Hyaluronic Acid. This stuff will change your life. I'm telling you right now, I'll show you the consistency whenever I put it out. It's literally like this like gel cream. It is just so hydrating. It's thick, but it's like, it just blends right into your skin. I don't know. I love it. I put it on every morning after I do, well, like I wash my face and then I put this on and then my vitamin C and then moisturizer and that's all I need. But it makes my skin just feel so hydrated and plump. And that's the best feeling, especially when you're about to put makeup on, when you're about to go out in the sun or whatever. Um, it's just, it, it. I love it. I love it. I, I don't know what it does for you skincare wise, but it's like a holy grail and you can get it on Amazon and I believe Target sells it as well. I need to move faster. Okay. Um, another thing, this is something that maybe people wouldn't want to talk about, but I feel like I have to share it because if any of you guys ever get like razor bumps when you shave down there, shave in your armpits, whatever, ingrown hairs, whatever, we're all women. Most of us are women. If you're a man watching this, I, you might get ingrown hairs as well or razor burn as well. This is Finapil. Okay, I don't know what made me try this, but I don't like really struggle with like razor burn that bad, but like sometimes, especially during the summertime, if I'm shaving more often, like if we're in the water or whatever, and I tried Brazilians and I ain't doing that anymore, so nope, beauty is not worth that pain, um, I will shave. And I feel like my skin just gets a lot more irritated and this cream is 
night and gold. I'm telling you, I feel like it can work on blisters. It can work on sores. It can work on anything. Um, it soothes, moisturizes. It's an antiseptic cream, protects against infection, um, non-comedogenic. I think that's how you say that. I don't know. Y'all know I'm bad with words. This is it. This, I'm telling you right now, will transform overnight. I swear it has like magical healing properties because I will put it on something, especially like on my kids when they get sores and stuff from like falling at the skate park and things like that, or like bug bites and things. I will literally just take a dab, looks like that, put it on their sore and it's gone. Or it, like almost to the point where it's like completely healed and scabbed over and like ready to come off. It is amazing. And I'm telling you right now, razor burn, all of that, it tames it, it calms it down and it just makes it non-existent. I will continue to order this for so long. I got this one on Amazon. I honestly think it was like $7, $7. And it's lasted me like six months already. So I will continue to buy this. If you have anything like that, I definitely um, suggest doing that. Yeah, it even says like cuts, scrapes, burns, moisturizes after hair removal, recommended for repeated use. So highly recommend. All right, and then I have a lip scrub that I didn't realize how important exfoliating your lips were, but it's very important. Um, this is the Ultra Sexy Pout, the Cocolicious Lip Scrub. I love the coconut scent. A lot of people don't like coconut, but coconut is one of my favorites. It makes me feel like closer to the beach. Um, it's just my favorite. They have these in tons of different scents. I believe like pineapple, berry, a lot of other ones. Um, you literally just take this lip scrub. It looks like that on the inside. Put it on your finger, lay it on your lips. It's gonna feel disgusting and you're gonna like, like act like you're tasting it, but coat your lips in the lip scrub and then let it sit for like three to four minutes, something like that. Wipe it off with a wet towel or something and then your lips are going to be so much softer. I'm telling you right now how important lip care is and then I put like Laneige or something like that if I do it on night at night for like a deep treatment on my lips. Um, I live in Florida. We're constantly in the sun and it's so important to take care of your lips. My lips always used to be like peeling, dry, cracking. I feel like I was just in so much pain. Um, and this just really takes care of them and gets that like dead layer of skin off, but also makes like your lip gloss, your lipstick, all of that just go on so much smoother and look a lot better. A couple more things. Um, I have truly been having a lot of health stuff going on and I've been trying to be the best version of myself. And a lot of that comes with like changing what I'm eating. I have been tracking my macros. I've been eating in a calorie deficit, not super strict, but also to, I'm just pri prioritizing protein. Um, that seems to be what is working for me. And since February, I've lost like 20 pounds. I've had like a hormonal imbalance and a lot of other things going on. So there's a lot of other things that I've been taking and stuff like that, trying to really prioritize to get my health on track and a lot of things that I didn't know about. So I'm taking a lot of different medications, but prioritizing protein. I have such a sweet tooth and I'm always constantly craving sweet things. Um, chocolate, hence that. And barbell bars and built bars have literally saved my life. 20 grams of protein. I'm telling you right now, you will not find another protein bar that tastes as good as these do. And they have no aftertaste. Barbell bars to me are the closest match to like an actual candy bar, like 100 grand, Snickers, Milky Way, that kind of thing. They have so many different flavors. Um, I can find these at GNC sometimes, but I just buy them on Amazon because you get them in bulk. I think it's like $28 or something like that for a big box of them. These are so good. They're coated in chocolate and that like nougat like crisp type of thing very good um my favorites though are the built puff bars this one is the cookie dough and it literally has like chunks of cookie dough along the top of it and it's coated in chocolate it is more of a marshmallow consistency on the inside so it's more like it's literally like a marshmallow so if you don't like that kind of texture i don't think you'll like these but the flavor is so good the brownie batter ones the coconut ones but these are my favorite um, I actually get mine at Sam's Club and I can get a big box of them for that, but no aftertaste. They are so good. And then another like protein thing that I've also been eating because like I'm, well, I was a snacker and I'm trying to like healthy snack now is Quest Protein Chips. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of these. Um, they are a little pricey, but they have 20 grams of protein for this little tiny bag of chips, um, six grams of fat, five grams of carbs. The macros are amazing. Um, this is actually my favorite flavor, surprisingly enough. It reminds me of like, you know, when you open a bag of Doritos and you get a Dorito chip and it's literally coated in seasoning. That's how these are. They're not all that way. The sweet chili one is also really good, but I love eating these if I just like haven't hit my protein macro for the day or I'm just needing like something crunchy to chew on. Um, and I also sometimes will like crush them up and put them in a taco salad with like ground beef and lettuce and all of the things. So I'm getting a lot of extra protein, but also it tastes really good. 
Um, and I know not everybody is going to be like eating higher protein food, but I'm just kind of sharing what I've been using lately and what I've been eating lately and things that have been working for me and like my life goals and really just like what's happening in my life. So I also have vitamins that I have been using and I've been taking magnesium glycinate and then ashwagandha. Magnesium glycinate is so great for sleep. So one of the things that I've had going on lately is I haven't been sleeping. I've been waking up in the middle of the night, can't fall back asleep, sometimes like 12, one o'clock in the morning. And so I'm going that long without sleep and sleep is so important for our health and magnesium glycinate has saved my freaking life. My doctor tried to give me sleep meds and I just like, I don't wanna take, I don't wanna be dependent on something like that, but our body just doesn't make enough magnesium and magnesium glycinate helps with that, helps keep you regular, if you know what I'm saying, but not like too regular, um, just enough to where you're naturally going on instinct. And then combine it with ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is great, the Alaskan kind is great for stress relief and combine them together they just match up for the perfect type of like peaceful sleep if they go together. Um, I truly believe in both of these and I take them all the time. Ashwagandha should only be taken four weeks on and two weeks off though. So if you do it, make sure you do four on, two off. And then another thing which like this should just go without saying, if you guys have not been on the Brewmate hype, um, the hype is real and it is worth it. The Eras Cup from Brewmate, I feel like I should be like a sponsor and have a code for this. This cup is worth the hype. It is worth the hype freaking amazing um the Ares one has a lock i have kids okay so i like i'm constantly on the go i need something that's going to keep my water cold and sometimes i just have to chuck my cup in the back seat this saves my life it's on a lock right now nothing oh well that was like a little residue but nothing comes out i can literally do whatever i need to do with it and then if i want to open it like that it'll come out Ooh, i should have done that um keeps my ice cold for days i'm talking days I could not recommend this cup more. It's the 40 ounce one. I think they have a 30 ounce one as well. Um, this is the color Mocha. They have a lot of colors. They sell out fast. So I would subscribe to their emails and like sometimes they do like coupon codes and things like that, but worth the hype. And it makes me drink water. Every time I feel like I'm struggling getting my water in for the day, I just buy a new cup and I feel better. <laughs> All of a sudden, like I have this new motivation to drink water. All right, last one. I am a busy mom and I'm constantly on the go. And so sometimes we are traveling places or literally going to baseball or whatever. And I need a bag to fit all my crap because I have a lot of it, whether that's snacks or just random things that our family needs. This bag saves my life. I got it a little wet, but it is massive. I don't even know how big it is, but it's the length of my head to my hips. Okay huge it fits everything it literally says everything i just think it's so cute it comes in so many different colors um it's it's my favorite and it hauls it hauls whatever i need in it it does whatever i need in it i take it everywhere with me and it stores everything so i guess i will link this down below because i don't even know how you would search this unless you just type everything bag i probably should just link everything anyways i might do that let me know if you want me to in the comments and i will do that um, i'm not looking to make money off of this i just want you guys to know what my favorite things are. So you can get them too and they can be your favorite things. All right, that is all I had. Hopefully you guys liked this little bit of a different change up for a video from me. Um, these are just products and things that I have been buying and really loving lately. And when I really love something, I really love to share about it, hence books. So I will have for you at the end of the week, my um, February and March wrap up. Since I didn't do one for February, all of those will be combined. Um, I can't wait to share that with you and talk about all those books, but thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Oh wait, actually leave me a lipstick if you have made it this far.